Aloha, family. So grateful to be connecting with you now in this moment. Today I'm going to be talking about goddess archetypes, Kali and Lilith. Two archetypes I feel are <clears throat> assisting the Divine Feminine to rise very greatly at this time. If you would like um, <clears throat> lots of history and um, biblical for Lilith, biblical stories, and for Kali, um, the Hindu stories. This is not the video for that. This is the energy, how Lilith and Kali, how I feel their energy has worked <clears throat> within me and my being. These two archetypes are generally um, the main goddesses that I call upon and notice I embody. Especially Kali, I've been calling upon her a lot the past year. And Lilith, I don't necessarily, I have not called upon her, but I observe that my energy is very um, Lilith-like. So, Kali Ma is <clears throat> the Hindu goddess of destruction. She burns away the illusion of your ego. She burns away the illusion of your ego. <sighs> Is Kali's energy. She's a very intense energy and she is unapologetic. That is what she looks like. And um, <clears throat> in one of the stories in the Hindu texts, she is seen um, lapping up blood. So she is not the type of energy of the Divine Feminine that is here to um, attend to your every need and be exactly what you want her to be. Rather, she is <clears throat> a very direct energy of um, cutting straight to the truth and going past all illusions and burning away um, all the bullshit, essentially. And I notice when I am embodying Kali's energy, it is very triggering for a lot of people because, like I said, as um, females, we're expected to be soft and sweet all the time and be exactly what <clears throat> others want us to be and to be um, Kali Kali. To be revolving our existence around others, um, at least is how I feel. And Kali is not going to do that. She's not going to feed your ego. She um, has assisted me in taking time for myself. And not being sorry because women are so expected to be so giving and they are so giving of their time and of their energy. Um, and it's so beautiful and abundant. However, <clears throat> sometimes you got to take up for yourself and not be sorry. And so Lilith is um, a very sensual, sexual being. And um, she it fully embodies her sexuality and is not sorry because she is aware of her divine feminine power and of her divine sexuality and knows that it is hers. It does not exist because 
a man gives her that value. It exists because it is hers. It is her nature. And so in the Bible, Lilith was created. Lilith and Adam were created to be husband and wife. And um, Adam said, okay, lay down so we can have sex. <clears throat> and Lilith said, no. Why should I have to lay down and be under you? Like, we are equal. I'm not going to be underneath. And <clears throat> not to say that, like, having sex that way is bad or degrading, but this is just um, symbolic symbolism and so God then created Eve to be more submissive <clears throat> and so Lilith energy in my experience has been very like I'm just a very sensual being I'm a very sexual being I'm very unapologetic that is my nature it has nothing to do with you it's just me and how I am um, and a lot of men tend to think that I am, like, I'm just naturally very flirty in all of my interactions when I'm being most authentic. And it doesn't mean I want to have sex with you. Uh, and men tend to think that I want to have sex with them if I'm being, in that my sensuality and that my sensuality is here to please them. Or that I'm putting on a show for them. And it's not. <clears throat> and um, men, not all men, but just historically, um, tend to want to control, <sighs> either possess, if they see um, a, a female embodying her sensuality fully, they, they're like, I want her, I want that, I want to possess that. And if they can't, then she's a slut, or she's a whore. Um, and in my experience, I've had males with boyfriends, I mean, males with girlfriends, um, think that I'm flirting with them or, or coming after them, um, or trying to go for their boyfriend, when in reality, I am just being my truest self, which is sensual and sexual, and it has nothing to do with you or your boyfriend, it's just how I am. And their boyfriends are like, oh, she's attracted to me. She has a crush on me. She wants me. Because they can't handle my sexuality and think that I'm after them. <sighs> so yes, Lilith is a very sexual, triggering being. Very triggering. Um, as you can see, because... When you are fully embodied in your sexuality, our ego wants to say like, oh, oh, I want that. Like, I am, I am turned on now. And that's okay to be turned on, but just know that, like, sit down and admire the beauty or the sexuality. You don't have to think it has something to do with you. Like, our ego is like, oh, it wants me. That's for me. Like, that's... And it has nothing to do with you. Um, so you can admire the beauty and you can admire the sexuality from afar. And then if it flows and if, you know, you feel attraction towards someone, then it will. But it's also okay for us to be sexual and to see sexuality in someone else and not have sex. Like, we can, like, admire the sexuality and the sensual nature that we see in other people and attraction um, and we don't have to act upon it and we don't have to feel like there's a rejection if we don't act upon it and we don't have to feel like this person's a slut like our ego wants to tell us like oh this person's a slut like if you can't have sex with them um, and that's not a possibility then like our ego wants to say oh then you're a slut or like come up with like a um, excuse And so we call upon Kali to burn away this illusion of our ego that our ego creates. Kali, Kali, Kali. Like, Kali is not going to put up with your bullshit. She's not going, she's not the type of divine feminine that is going to take on all of your problems and care to your every need. She's literally just going to burn that shit away. And I feel as though Lilith and Kali are coming up for us um, 
to assist the Divine Feminine in rising at this time because I feel as though archetypes like Kuan Yin and Mother Mary, which are so heart open, forgiving, um, and loving, we have mastered this as Divine Feminines. We have been in this energy for so long. And most Divine Feminines, most females, if you are a female, you are Divine Feminine and males as well have this divine feminine connection or if you are gender fluid you have the connection to the divine feminine as well as the divine masculine so i'm really just when i say divine feminine i'm really just speaking of the energy of the healthy balanced divine feminine anyways what was i saying um oh yes so we have mastered most of our feminines have mastered this Mother Mary, so forgiving, so compassionate um, energy of open-hearted love and just like love, love, loving. And this is an important energy to have and a very loving energy to have. However, we can step into our full sexual power to call upon Lilith and our full personal power to call upon Kali um, to fully embody this and be unapologetic about it be unapologetic for saying no and like the Mother Mary type archetype like would feel like would feel the pain of how it feels to say no to someone you know it's like mm, you say no to me like why you say no to me um, and, and would be like, mm, like, I'm sorry, you know, that type of energy. And Kali would just be like, no. And just not get, like, just unapologetically, nope. And, like, go back to herself and her center. <sighs> yes, Kali, 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 burn it all away. Kali, Kali, Kali Ma, Kali Ma, Om Kali, 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 Kali Ma, Kali Ma. So that's all I have for you guys at this time. I'm so grateful for um Kali and Lilith's energy in my life and how it has assisted me to be unapologetic and um I don't want to say like Kali's energy like part of me wants to say like her heart is closed but it's rather protected and really it's this intense energy out of such a deep love because it's not love for your ego of like what what you want it's love for what you need her energy will bring you what you need what your soul truly needs to step into your highest potential and to burn away all of the little games that our ego creates and lilith is just so um not sorry for being sexual and there's so much shame casted upon females that are in their sexual nature there's so much shame for that and it's really sad it hurts um because we are sexual beings and it's okay to be proud of that to embody that like if that's what, like, not the type of energy that's like, oh, let me put on a show for you, but more just like, I feel good being in my sensuality. Like, this is my natural state of being. 
This is how I choose to engage with the world. So yeah, I'm so grateful for Lilith. And it's very like Scorpio, snake, sexual. Unconscious mind. And it's a full moon in Scorpio tonight, which is crazy. Unconscious mind is like super prevalent. Wow. Thank you for watching. I love you guys. Love and light. May Kali and Lilith be with you in your reality.